Small businesses are a pillar of Maine's economy. In fact, the state has more than 147,000 of them, and they employ a majority of the state's workforce. But for one small business owner in the state, it was an employee she says forced her out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. An employee is now facing charges for allegedly stealing that money. New Center Maine's Alex Haskell spoke to the business owner about how it happened. Alex? Zach, Pamela Anzell says about half a million dollars was stolen from her over multiple years. Now, as the person responsible for the crime is about to plead guilty, um, uh, she's speaking out and hopes her story is a warning for others. Pamela Anzell is still trying to make sense of what happened. I, I still feel this shock. These papers documenting years of betrayal that cost her thousands. This is a check that she just made out to cash. How and much is that? It's for $1,000 and, and she forged my name. Two years ago, Anzell found out she was nearly a half a million dollars behind on federal taxes. She later learned someone was stealing from her Portland dental office. That someone, she says, was her office manager, Teresa York. This numbness that comes over me, how someone who I'd known for 31 years could, you know, could do this. Because York was much more than just an employee. We're friends. We travel together. We were both pregnant with uh, my only son and her second son when we first met. We bonded as mothers. It's, it's hard to put it in words. It's such a betrayal. It's really changed me. Anzel first noticed something was off back in 2016 when she didn't have enough funds to pay her taxes, but her accountant brushed it off. Fast forward to 2021, the IRS froze Anzel's bank account. She reached out to York for help. And I've never heard from her since. The IRS was sending Anzel certified notices, had been for years, but she says York was hiding them and shredding them. It's just hurtful. It makes me sad. You know, I've cried a million tears. And now as York is expected to plead guilty to theft in Cumberland County this month, Enzel says nothing can pay back the years of friendship lost. At this point, I don't believe we were friends. I thought we were friends. I mean, friends don't do that to each other. A betrayal she hopes all small business owners can learn from. My instincts told me something was wrong and I didn't trust my instincts. One of the things that I do now is I do trust my instincts. Now, under a plea agreement, York is expected to stay out of jail and instead serve three years probation. She has already started to pay back a portion of the money. York did not respond to our request for comment. Zach. Alex Haskell live in the newsroom tonight. Thanks so much.